Today we're going to be looking at uh, a project in Construct 2 uh, to create a platform game. So we're going to start off by clicking New Project. We'll just leave it as a new empty project. And you can see this area we've got here uh, is quite a, a large area. Uh, the dotted box shows us the actual screen. Um, and the area all around, you can see there we've got uh, scrolling top and bottom um, in order to fill that screen. We don't really want that. What we're going to do is we want it so that it just is a side scroller and we need to get rid of this area below. Now in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the, the settings on the side. And I'm going to change the settings to uh, the height to be the same height as the project right. so we can see there we've just got a side scroll so I'm going to add to start off with I'm going to add a sprite this is going to be the player let's just set a color for it blue Change the size of the character, and just place him somewhere on screen. Add a behavior, and the behaviors, uh, before we use the eight direction uh, for the ghost shooter, we can actually use the platform, makes sense. Jump and run between platforms, solid objects. Um, and also as well, in there we need to add the scroll to, so that it keeps it uh, on screen. Okay, and then another sprite we're going to use for a piece of uh, platform. So let's pick a, an orange colour for, for the platform. And obviously far too big. We we'll change it into just a strip. And place that there. And the behaviours that we need to add for that are... We could use solid, which actually uh, means that it's a solid piece of object, but we uh, we need to be able to use jump through because then that allows us to actually jump. Um, if we were below the platform, we can jump through it rather than banging our heads on it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna add that. What I can then do is I can uh, just put that in place and then using the control key, I can just click and drag and that will allow me to put more than one piece of uh, platform on there and I can change the size of each individual piece you can see there we've got uh, a piece but the trouble is that is that the, the character just falls straight through you can see there you jump and it just falls straight through so we've got a bit of a problem there yeah, the problem is it's jumping far too high and falling far too fast. So I can change the behaviors of the uh, player. You can see there the, the jump strength is quite high. So we can change that, knock that down. Let's just change it to 100 just to see what it does. And you see now it's not jumping very high at all now, is it? But when it falls, it's still falling through. So we'll set that somewhere in between. Set it to 400. The maximum speed, it, it can go too fast as well. And the problem can be that uh, it's falling faster than it can look for pixels to stop on. So we'll change that to 100. Just give that a test. Reload it and just give it a go. So it jumps. No, it's still falling through. So what other what other settings that can we uh, can we change on there? You can see there. There's also a maximum fall speed of a thousand, which is really really fast. That's uh, terminal velocity. So we change that down to uh, three hundred and. 
let's just uh, test that and see if we've solved it okay let's try it, it seems to be uh, working fine it's not jumping too high uh, and it falls and stops on each platform piece we'll just check that this um, actually scrolls along now so by putting extra pieces in towards the end and just check that uh, the player the back screen actually scrolls along with the player test it fell through a bit there probably need another tweak in those settings you can see it jump it jumps through I bet it's working and the, the scrolls working as well although I need a, a bit of a tweak on those settings okay something else we can do to make it a little bit more interesting let's add another piece on there not a huge block of ice but um, let's add a piece of platform I've made this a different colour because it's going to be uh, a different type of a piece of platform so just add a behavior and this time what we're going to do is we're going to add the sign so adjust an object's position size angle or any other properties uh, by oscillation let's just show you what this actually does can you see it's uh, moving backwards and forwards So that's moving horizontal and you can see looking at the properties of this let's add another jump through so it then uh, is also a piece of platform move it there looking at the different behaviors you can change it to horizontal vertical it could be size width height can change so very interesting adding a sign to it uh, it's got the the period of time that the sign works for and its magnitude so that's how far it, it uh, changes to make this a bit more interesting we could add um, a background change the layers have a hood on top of there the pieces of platform would be images instead and you know if you look at some other games such as Chucky Egg or Manic Miner, some classic games, uh, Mario gives you some kind of ideas as to uh, what graphics to put in there. We could also have some uh, other pieces that uh, disintegrate when you when you fall on them. So let's give it a go. Let's add another sprite. Pick a nice red colour, just a different colour. And then these are just going to be <coughs> these are just going to be pieces of these are just going to be pieces of platform. And I'll just delete the other piece and put them in the in the place. And what we're going to do is going to add. Uh, behavior still going to be a jump through so it's still a, like a standard piece of platform but what we're going to do I'm just going to change, change the name of the uh, sprite 4 to something snappy uh, that we know what it's going to do so I'm going to actually call it uh, disintegrate Okay, and I'm going to change the, uh, the name of the, the sprite to player. And then what I'm going to do is going to an event, say uh, disintegrate when it um, collides 
with another object which is going to be the player and what's he going to do well uh, disintegrate is going to uh, disintegrate uh, it's going to destroy so let's just duplicate uh, pieces of that so I'll, I'll put together using shift uh, and control and just uh, drag a few out so there's quite a few in few pieces in there let's test it so let's uh, just get on that first platform and see what happens Ooh. so refresh that see what happens yep and it disappears this appears a little bit too quick um, things that you could do to slow that down maybe it fades out and then when it's faded out then it um, it disintegrates so on contact uh, put some kind of timer in there but it, it does actually work and there you have the basics of creating a platform game uh, it's very very basic uh, in this video but hopefully it's just going to give you some ideas uh, for far more ideas uh, check out the retro games